Higher earning younger adults in Wisconsin experienced the greatest increase in alcohol use during the COVID-19 pandemic. That's according to a new survey from the University of Wisconsin School of Medicine and Public Health. UW Health was part of this, so let's talk to a doctor from UW Health. Joining us again, Dr. Bill Hartman, the principal investigator for the UW Health Pediatric Moderna COVID-19 vaccine trial. Doctor, great to see you. We knew people were drinking more during the pandemic, but now we're getting a lot more data about people in Wisconsin drinking. Right, so this was a survey where it looked at just at people of Wisconsin during different waves of the uh, pandemic. Uh, what they saw was that people between ages uh, 21 to 40, they increased their drinking the most. And so their, their alcohol intake increased the most. Also, people who had were more educated, so a bachelor's degree or higher, uh, those in the higher income level, and people with kids tended to, to increase their, their alcohol intake uh, more than others. It was highest in the first wave, and then it, it gradually declined over time. Interesting that, I mean, we know younger people tend to drink more alcohol, but this really showed during the pandemic, this was a kind of a go-to for them. Right, you know, people handled uh, the stressors of the pandemic differently. Uh, younger people, uh, apparently younger people in Wisconsin tended to, to drink more to deal, with, uh, to deal with the stress of the pandemic, the stress of uh, having to, to, to be home to, to work, the stress of uh, having their kids home and, and having to teach them how to use uh, online curriculum, uh, learning curriculums. And so all of these stressors, all of these things uh, added up to the fact that people uh, drank more uh, during the pandemic, uh, especially early on. Speaking of stressors, the uh, Surgeon General out with a really interesting comments here, calling loneliness a pandemic. Right, and so the, the Surgeon General obviously concerned with, with loneliness. And, and before the pandemic even started, one out of every two people, one out of every two adults in the United States described themselves as being lonely. This was obviously made uh, worse during the pandemic when we were isolated from, from friends and family. And so uh, they're calling for a national strategy to advance social connection so that people can have uh, more effective ways of reaching out to others so that uh, we don't have this, this feeling of loneliness, this feeling of hopelessness uh, that, that engulfs uh, so many people in our country. Yeah, and Greg, I misspoke the epidemic, not the pandemic, but yeah, it's affecting a lot of people. Let's end with some good news here. RSV, a possible vaccine in the works. This is big news. Yes, yeah, so the, the FDA has approved the first of the uh, RSV vaccines. Uh, this is important because RSV is uh, a virus that puts 60 to 160,000 people over the age of 60 into the hospitals every year, uh, killing 10% of them. And so it's approved uh, by the FDA for people over 60 uh, as, a, as a vaccine to help prevent uh, the serious complications that can happen from RSV. 82% uh, of the time it was able to block lower uh, respiratory infections, and 95% of the time it was able to uh, protect against severe disease and hospitalization uh, from, from RSV. So it could potentially save a lot of lives, something we'll be watching closely. Dr. Bill Hartman, appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Let's take a live look outside right now. Traffic flowing right there. Beautiful out date today. Wonderful day to be uh, on a run, Ben, right? Not inside <laughs> in a studio. This is the day. It's 